Winter wraps up. Cleaning may be on your mind, but what should be done with all those unwanted clothes? Donations can make a difference and help the environment with fewer clothes ending up in landfills, but sometimes unwanted clothes are in poor condition or access to certain donation centers can be difficult. Melissa Don has more. Inside the Los Angeles Mission Warehouse, people like Christopher Taylor are hard at work making sure donated clothing find a new home, a cause deeply personal. Once I was one of them out there. Six years ago, Christopher found himself accepting the services of the LA Mission, and he learned how a shirt or a pair of shoes can go a long way. If I want to give clothing, what's the best advice? The only thing that we encourage is dignity. So when you're thinking about what to give, um, think about what you would like to receive. Other tips from organizers at the LA Mission include sorting through the items you will donate and bagging or tagging them accordingly. If the clothing has holes or is tattered, consider bringing it to a textile recycling center or program in your neighborhood. We have a partner that we use that um, kind of rags items and like uses it for textile recycling and so nothing really gets wasted. Here at the LA Mission they receive thousands of pieces of clothing just weekly and a consistent need are actually warm clothing like jackets and sweaters. Underneath each garment is a story, tales that Victor Lozano gets to experience. There are times when I help somebody with clothes, they come at the last minute, hey I got an interview tomorrow and I've helped them and like Weeks later, they're like, do you remember? Do you remember me? You gave me that shirt. You gave me that tie. I got the job. So that's like, wow. As those who work here have a full circle moment. I always walk past the mission, but I never thought I would be a part of the mission. All thanks to one simple donation. Melissa Adon, thank you. And joining me more now on this topic is professional home organizer and author Janelle Cohen. Janelle, I told you I'm very passionate about this topic, but tell us, when you're cleaning out your home, a lot of us get encouraged in the spring. What should we be thinking of? So you really want to love everything in your closet. You want everything to make you feel good. It should fit your body, and it should also fit your lifestyle. And if you have things that you're saving for a hypothetical situation, maybe a specific theme or whatnot, uh, you don't want things just sitting around for those, you know, uh, events. You want to make sure that everything is getting a lot of use, okay? So you don't want things that are super damaged. And if it doesn't fit you well, say goodbye. Okay, so what are some quick hacks to organize your closet? Okay, I like to sort by category. So tops, jackets, dresses, pants, etc. right? And then you want to do color within each category if you're going to take it up a notch. Color is just a really fun way to make your closet feel really uh, streamlined and beautiful, and it will be more likely to maintain it. Um, and you want to streamline your hangers, so all the same hangers. It also saves space if you do that. And for items on shelving, add some baskets with labels. Labels. It will make the space feel really cohesive. Oh, I love a good label maker. Um, this process can be overwhelming. So when you're trying to tackle, you know, your closet, multiple closets, what are some strategies? Well, I always say to start with something small and work your way up. I say start with a high traffic area, area like a junk drawer or an entryway. You want to start by removing everything from the space empty that drawer out, and then figure out what you actually need there, right? Your scissors, tape measure, whatever you need in that drawer. Add little dividers so that you have specific categories, a place to put things back, like their little home. Um, for an entryway, you want to think about where do I put my bag down? Add a hook if you need to. If you put your keys down in your wallet, add a little tray so that they have a spot to go down. You want to really think through those areas, and you want to set up systems for your habits and how you live your life. Mm, find a home for everything. Janelle, I love it. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for I having me. I love those tips. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.